Colleen Nolan has been living with a TV competition winner for a year, who she calls her secret daughter. The Loose Women star, 58, took in reality TV winner Orla Hartnett after she became estranged from her own mum. Orla, 21, has just been crowned the winner of E4S Fred's Last Resort and moved into the Nolan's Cheshire home last year. She revealed how the television personality calls her a daughter. The pizza waitress joked to the son, Honestly, my birthday card is Orla, the daughter I never wanted. Orla bagged the £10,000 prize money after she won the show hosted by First Date's Fred Sirix. The series saw 12 young people compete for a top hospitality contract during the summer season at a five-star hotel on the French Riviera. During her appearance on the show, Orla kept her friendship with Colleen under wraps and fellow contestants had no idea of the connection until they visited Orla at home. Orla said, I didn't tell anyone on the show who she was, or who I lived with. When the recruits came round to my house afterwards I was like this is Colleen and I live with her. The winner first met Colleen when she was just seven years old and spent time at her home growing up. Orla left home at 16 and contact dwindled with her own mum, yet she has admitted Colleen stepped in to offer her guidance. She added, as awful and upsetting the situation is I have to pick myself up every day and get on with life and go get what I want. The support that Colleen's given me has been, honestly, I don't know what I do without her. Orla is now set to move to London to train in hospitality, with the hopes of one day owning her own hotel. Colleen recently opened up on Loose Women about her sister Linda Nolan's cancer diagnosis as the Nolan singer revealed that her cancer has spread. Linda revealed her cancer had spread to her brain after first being diagnosed with stage 3 breast cancer in 2005 before getting the all clear in 2006. In 2017, she was diagnosed with a form of incurable secondary cancer in her hip, which later spread to her liver in 2020. Colleen said, it's her strength and her will to live. She's strong all the time and it makes the rest of us strong, 